Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. By now, those who have been following Update 17 and the game's narrative will know that Spire Sites are now a thing. And with the Spire Sites, there are new materials to collect. We don't know what to do with them yet, but there's something, and it's new and shiny. The Spire materials and Spire minerals can be found in these dome-like structures. Everyone's been concentrating on the tall spires, but not an awful lot of people have been paying attention to these gazebo-like structures guarded by the Revenant on the ground. There are two types of materials so far that we've found in such structures, both of which are highly corrosive, and aspire refined minerals. If you have indeed been enjoying the series of videos on Elite Dangerous I've been putting out for several years now, please do me a favour and hit that like and subscribe button. It's a small thing you can do, but actually tells me what people like to watch in regards to Elite Dangerous. Now onto these Thargoid gazebo-like structures. These sites are absolutely fantastic to look at during the day and spectacular to look at during the night. The Thargoid gazebos, as the community is now calling them, are these dome-like structures with illuminated pods and nerve centers inside, which you can manipulate, just as you can do on the spires. Looking inside, you can see there are pods hanging from the ceiling. These pods contain materials. These are the semi-refined or unrefined materials that you can find. Also on the central stalk of the gazebo, you can find another outlet or cocoon, with what looks like to be lights around the outside. It's all very spectacular, it's all very spooky, and it's all very eerie. These sites are notorious for attracting the Revenant and the Banshee that patrol around the outsides of them. Here you've got these nerve clusters on the outside walls. Now by manipulating those, and hitting them with an electric charge, you can disable them and therefore release the bounty that's stored in the form of materials on the inside of this gazebo. Let's do some demonstrations. So, I've got my electrical tool out. There you go. Have a look at your suit power. Now, mine's on 27. I have insufficient power to use this tool. So you may have to drop a power supply charge into your suit. For this sort of thing, I find the Artemis suit is probably best suited, not a Maverick suit, because you get extra supply of power packs. Hitting it with an electric charge disables it, and you can see on that central stalk, that nodule, that node, part of it has gone from green to red. Zapping the other one, just like that, that nerve cluster, has turned all the lights on that central node to red and also allows you to shoot it with a gun. So as you can see, it's all red, it's not green. Whatever shield was protecting it from weapons fire has now been disabled. A quick blast with my plasma pistol has released the bounty within. And this, indeed, is a round type of material and is indeed a spire refined material. Now, you can't pick these up by hand. You've got to go pick these up with your SRV, should it have survived the journey in, or you can pick it up via a ship, which we'll come on to a little bit later. On the ceiling, however, there are also pods. Now, a carefully timed shot here will also release those. There's only a few of those knocking around in each gazebo, and again, you'll need a ship with collector limpets that have since been modified to pick up items more effectively off the ground, or an SRV with a bit of cargo hold. But be aware, these are also highly corrosive. Not like the refined materials you get up on the spire. These semi-refined and unrefined materials, nobody knows what they're going to be used for yet. And we're hoping all these are going to be released in the game. Giving them a quick blast with the pistol will indeed release them. 
and you'll find them on the floor wherever they lay. Now, be careful of the revenant. Frontier have tweaked the revenant, however, that their vision, their line of sight, is not as aggressive as what it was. Probably to make this a little bit easier, because once they home in on you, they are on you. Now, there's a central node that I haven't hit with the nerve clusters, and you can see you can shoot it to your heart's content, and it will not release its bounty within it. Just to be aware. Now, this is the pod or the material that's dropped from the ceiling. Like I say, you can't pick it up by hand. You've got to pick it up with an SRV, using up a valuable cargo. Don't forget the Scorpion's only got two tons, but the Scarab has four. And it will start rotting your systems. If you pick it up via ship, it's also going to start to rot your systems. And this is the method that I went for. So here comes my Python, the Millennium Falcon. All hail its magnificence. As soon as it approaches, the Revenant are giving it a bit of beef, as anticipated. Now, I am really low on hull here. The shields are holding it together, and it's being held together with duct tape as well. So on approach, I've managed to get up in the air. I've got my limpets in the air to go and pick up that material. As you can see, the Revenant are there as well. You probably need a decent collector limpet that can give you some decent range so you can get out of the way of some of the shutdown missiles. But there you can see I've collected a semi-refined spire mineral and that's in my hull, rotting it away as I speak. Now I'm taking these back to my carrier, getting as many as I possibly can early on in the game before anything gets tweaked. And then I'm gonna see what community goals and other items Frontier decide that we need to collect these items for that we can unlock. I've been Ricardo, thanks very much for watching this video on how to get the materials, the spire materials, or minerals, should we call them, the spire minerals, that's what they're actually called, from the Thargoid gazebos at the Thargoid spire sites. Hope you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe if you haven't done so, and I'll see you soon in the next video.